time you blame yourself is when Allah has given you the capacity, the ability to do something that is beneficial for you or to protect yourself from some harm. And you sat back and said, well, if it's decreed, let it happen. Like the lazy lot of today who sit at home and make dua. Oh Allah, I've been reading five salah a day. I'm getting up for tahajjud. Oh Allah, help me, help me. I need sustenance. Oh Allah, I need a minimum of a thousand pounds a week. That makes it 52,000 pounds a year. Not a bad salary actually. So, oh Allah, give me a thousand pounds a week. And you're sitting and you just, your hands are raised and your hands are raised and you're pious. That pious is mistranslated. It's got to do with pies, maybe meat pies, subhanallah. Because you cannot sit in your room when Allah has given you the capacity to pick up your phone and look for jobs online from your phone. But you say, no, I rely on Allah. That is false reliance. The hadith says, tie your camel, then say, I rely on Allah. Allah gave you the capacity. You cannot leave your motor vehicle open with all your pounds dangling from here and there and everything else, you know, that's valuable in your vehicle. And you say, I rely on Allah and Allah alone. He's going to take care of my car. Well, I tell you what, when you come back, everything will be stolen from the car and your car will be gone as well. Why? You were foolish. So this is why we say when Allah gave you the capacity to do something, do it, use your brain, use your energy. That's why the hadith says, Ihris ala ma yanfa'uk wasta'in billahi wa la ta'jaz. Always, always work hard to achieve what is beneficial for you. Did you hear that? Work hard to achieve what is beneficial for you and seek the help of Allah and never give up.